first shots ever out of a Mac DS9 uh, that's stock. I will say that uh, playing around with one from Monsoon that was Gucci'd out. They had the chunk port on the front, Vinny stipple job, a little bit of paint. Um, but a stock DS9 is the first time I've ever put rounds down range with it. And we're sitting here shooting it with a Staccato P for comparison. Now our Staccato P is a rental gun. It has got oh, thousands and thousands and thousands of rounds through it. Um, but I will say that having a Mac at a price point of $9.99 as opposed to a Staccato, well, especially an optics ready Staccato, at $2,500 ish, um, I don't know that there is a $1,500 difference between these two guns. So what I've been liking is these are very, very similar. There's some so subtle nuancey things that are a little different. The slide release is a little bit shorter on this. The uh, safety selector is not as, it doesn't have as much, um, I don't know, clickness, I guess you call it. Andrew was calling it clicky, but I don't know what the hell you would actually call that. I think I'd call it the tactile feel. Kind yeah. Of like people who like mechanical keyboards. Yeah, I can see that. Um, optics ready for both. And we've already yeeted the front fiber optic sight out of the Mac, so definitely needs a little dot of super glue on there but it still works great the one thing i do like is the fact that the mac is a aluminum trigger that's adjustable and is a flat face trigger i'm a big fan of a flat face trigger but trigger pull and break on these things they're really similar um, you can tell the staccato is definitely more broken it has a little bit more crispness and acuteness to the break if you will but don't sleep on the mac i mean it's this gun's sweet That was a good shot. Hey everybody, welcome back to Half-Ass Professionals. I'm here with Andrew and today we're going to talk about the best budget 2011 that exists on the market today in the Mac 9 DS. But before we get there, we got our giveaway going on. One lucky subscriber is going to win 500 rounds Winchester brass case, nine millimeter, straight from Winchester, shipped directly to you, provided you can have it, when we get to 2,500 subs. So like, comment, subscribe. We definitely appreciate it. It helps the channel grow. It helps us continue to put out content that we believe that you guys want to see. Um, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe on this video. Let us know if you think that we're full of shit or not on the fact that this is by far, not even close, best 2011 budget friendly gun out there. Budget. Budget friendly, for sure. So, we'll clip in some range video here and there of, uh, of Andrew and I run the piss out of this. But essentially, Mac is a new company, Military Armament Corp. They're a Turkish import. They do three different things, essentially. They do a 2011, well, they have 1911s too, but 20, 1911, 2011. They do Benelli M2, M4 clones. And they do an MB5 clone as well. And super stoked with what we saw at the shows feeling this thing i was excited to get one in and we did so we ran through ran it through its paces got really hot did some oh yeah shit. so but i want to kick it over to you as a non-2011 shooter and talk a little bit about what you thought about that compared to the staccato versus maybe that was something else so so that was the whole idea right we went out to the range we took a staccato P, which is what the Mac 9 is based off of. Mm -hmm. It's it's pretty much a direct copy. Uh, we took the staccato P, the Mac 9 DS, and pretty much like a thousand rounds of ammo. And we just did like a burn down. We didn't clean the gun. We took it right out of the box and we just went. And to the point where the gun was getting so hot, it was actually kind of getting hard to hold. Yeah. And our intention was to compare it to a staccato. And I kept laughing the whole time we were out there because not once did I compare that gun to the Staccato. I just kept thinking to myself, this gun makes the Prodigy and the Rock Island 
and all the other not like cheap budget 2011s it makes them look so bad <laughs> so bad the fact that this gun comes in four or five hundred dollars cheaper than a prodigy well real quick let's price point on this thing is right at a thousand bucks yeah it's pretty much right at a thousand dollars i'm sure you're going to see him out there in the wild for even a little bit cheaper than that once the popularity kind of dies down and you know the prodigy when that came out it it's had so many issues and it still to this day has some reliability quirks to it it doesn't shoot anywhere near as nice as this mac does this gun is just it feels like a staccato it shoots like a staccato i'm sure that the parts aren't quite as nice as a true staccato p and i'm sure it's not all hand fit with perfect tolerances and things like that but man we didn't have a single issue with ours we ran the crap out of it and it shot great <laughs> well so we didn't have a problem with the functionality of it we did have a problem with the sights sure so the optics plate came loose because there was no loctite on it from the factory mm -hmm. um, and and the gun was the surface of the sun yeah the gun got really hot so all the screws kind of came loose uh we lost our fiber optic rod real early i think round one yeah which which happens all the time especially with those dawson precision type sights mm -hmm. but as far as functionality goes i think we put close to 500 rounds through it in less than an hour we never had a single malfunction that wasn't caused by us being stupid and responsibly stupid responsibly stupid yes and i mean it functioned great the magazines it comes with were incredibly high quality which is that was kind of my biggest reservation of the rock island was and, that i didn't like the mag and the springfield yeah the springfield the mags were kind of in the middle they're like parker ice or something yeah. they're they're black and not that high polished stainless so and uh, the, i mean uh, that's that's a little thing but the springfield feels unbalanced in your hand too it feels like someone took a 1911 and just made it bigger yeah you know like you when you feel like that glock like you're marty mcfly and you gotta pump 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 it up <laughs> so you, when you feel like a nine millimeter glock and then you feel a 10 millimeter glock it doesn't feel like they did anything. They just took it and swelled it up yeah. in, in every proportion. That's what the Prodigy felt like to me when the controls were terrible in the Prodigy because they didn't upgrade the controls. They left them tiny. In this gun, it feels like a 2011. You have the right grip, the right slide, the right controls. I will say that the clickiness of the controls is better in the Staccato than the, it was in the Mac. tactile feel of Yeah, the, the tactile feel, the clickiness. The clickiness. Yeah, the, on a Staccato, the safety feels a little nicer, the slide release feels a little nicer, the mag release is a little less stiff, but yes, yeah, the, the stiffness on that mag release was a little weird because it was like ridiculously stiff initially, but yeah. then after it warmed up and we ran 500 rounds through it, it's normal now. It got, it got a lot better after we used it a little bit. And keep in mind, the staccato that we were comparing it to has been on our rental rack for well over a year. <laughs> that they've been rebuilt already. And it's already been rebuilt. So it's got like 50,000 plus rounds and lots of service through it. Yeah. So so one of the things I like about the mag, number one, it gives you two 2011 mags. There are 17 routers for the full size. They're flush, but it does run all the other, like the MBX mags, the staccato mags. We were actually running both mags and both guns while running them through. Yeah, the staccato didn't have any issue with the cheaper mags and... The Mac obviously loved the Staccato mags as yep. well. Um, so the mags were great. Um, it does come with a Dawson type knockoff sight setup where you have a rear iron on your optic plate, and then you have a front post that are uh, that's a fiber optic fiber optic rod yeeted itself into the range somewhere, yeah, like just route a, one or two. Just a little dab of super glue probably would have had that thing hold in a lot longer. Now, the other thing that happened is the optics plate started getting loose, but so did the rear sight. The rear sight started drifting. And it has a set screw in there, too, but it was also not Loctited. Right. So, but from the factory, these things come with a Dawson-type optic plate for RMR. So you can put it right on there, which this is a part one video. There will be a part two once we get the gun back from Monsoon, because Monsoon is doing their thing. And we're going to have those guys on a show to talk about the gun and what they can do and all the fun <laughs> stuff that goes along with that. But, you know, outside of having a front, eyebrow, front, the front fiber optic rod disappearing, the optic plate in the back coming undone, and the, op, the rear sight drifting, like, uncontrollably, it's actually a sweet gun. 
a little bit of Loctite and a, a drop of super glue, and it's a solid gun. Yeah. The other thing I like about it, and again, we were initially comparing this to the Staccato, but it ended up being like, all right, the Staccato is, the Staccato P, the, probably the most popular 2011 out there, is, is number one model from Staccato specifically is the P. But then we were initially going into, like, let's compare it to a Staccato, and then it turned into, let's compare it to every other budget 2011 out there, and then, oh, my God, it just destroys them all. It destroys them. I I don't think I said a single bad thing about the Mac 9 in the, uh, in the range day, but... Every single time we were sitting there loading mags, I was just talking mad shit about the Prodigy. We're gonna be shitting all over the Prodigy in this video. That's actually the funniest thing about this first shots review for the Mac 9 is I'm not really thinking about this gun in the context of how much I like it or don't like it. I'm thinking about it in terms of comparing it to the other 2011 attempts. This gun is making me realize that the Springfield Prodigy and the Rock Island guns are terrible. It just kept blowing my mind. I mean, when the Prodigy came out, people were so excited. People flooded to the shop. They pre-ordered these guns. And, I mean, to this day, I still have not shot a Prodigy that didn't run flawlessly. Well, the only one that I have that has run great is after they put about $1,000 in parts in it. Right. And it's been upgraded by Monsoon and everything else. So, so you can so make you, a Prodigy really nice. So they took a $1,500 Prodigy and they brought it right up to the price of a $2,500 Staccato? Pretty much. Right. Now see, this Mac 9 is 1000 bucks, and it's an exact copy, pretty much, of a $2,500 Staccato P. If you are the kind of person who is maybe seriously considering getting into a 2011, maybe you think that that's the step that's going to make you a better shooter. If you could afford a Staccato... I would almost say it might be worth your time to just pick up a Mac 9 and then spend the other 1500 on more ammo and get more practice and get that gun broke in. You'll probably be a better shooter at the end of the day. Yeah, we've said it many times before. It's better to buy a cheaper gun and buy a lot more ammo and classes and train with that gun than it is to keep up with the Joneses, buy that staccato and not, never be able to afford to shoot it. I, I can't tell you the sheer number of times I've seen guys win shooting competitions with completely basic bone stock guns that only cost four or five hundred bucks, and they win against guys who are using five, six, seven thousand dollar pistols just because they practice more. And that's really what it boils down to. You know, you practice with that platform, you're going to get good with that platform, and you're going to be confident. And you're going to shoot fast. And you're going to shoot accurately. Hundred percent. I could not agree more. I think the the other one last thing about the Mac that I really like as opposed to the Prodigy and these other 2011s is it comes with an aluminum flat face trigger that's adjustable. And you don't see that in like the Rocks and the EAA clone and some of these other right. ones that are out there. But uh, we hope you guys enjoyed the video on this. If you are looking for a budget-friendly 2011 or you want to keep up with the Joneses in the 2011 it, it world because it can be expensive check out the mac 9 ds that gun is sweet I, I fell in love with the one that we burned down so much that i bought it and sent it off with Vinny and zach to cut it up paint it do some stuff too and we're going to do a part two on that on this video specifically with those guys as well and introduce you to what they can do and how they can help everybody essentially upgrade and, and take your basic gun and gucci it for competition or just because it looks cool and then it will probably live on the wall of fancy guns behind you i'm gonna start shooting it because i'm that i like it that much i'm gonna start shooting it competitively i think it'd be a good test to see how long it holds up oh yeah we're gonna burn the piss out of it but yeah um we definitely appreciate you guys taking the time especially to listen to us we want to put out good content so the way you can support us like comment subscribe all of those things help the algorithm so if you like the video if you didn't like it give us his own like video because we also need to know when we're failing or putting out bad content too because you need to go nope go this way instead leave us a comment tell us if you've shot one before tell us if uh how you feel about the 2011 platform in general because it is a little different than shooting a normal sim auto platform but let us know what your experiences are if, if we've missed a budget friendly 2011 out there we've hit the, the two big ones the prodigy and the rock island but there are a ton of them that are out there now especially the import side of things but let us know. And then don't forget, subscribers, if you are subscribed to the channel, when we hit 2,500 likes, 
Somebody is going to walk away with 500 rounds of Winchester brass case, 9 millimeter. 2,500 subs. What did I say? Like, oh, sorry, 2,500 subscribers. When we hit 2,500 subs is when we will give away that ammo, and then we'll get into the next giveaway, which I'm really excited about. But more to follow on that later. No spoilers. But no spoilers yet. Not yet. you have anything else to add? Get out there and train. Don't be a loot drop. <laughs> I'm not... They could do a whole video on that down the road. But thank you for taking the time to listen to us, and we'll see you next week. Peace.